Welcome to Local Matters, the official Laverne podcast. I'm your host, Ann Smith, and today I want to introduce you to Gary Lyde. He is our city engineer, and this is a part of our employee spotlight series. Gary started working with the city of Laverne last year, and I hear you just passed your one-year anniversary. Correct. Okay, so we're going to start things off, get you a little loose. Excited to be here uh, with some lightning round questions. You ready? Bring, bring it on. Okay. What is your favorite dessert? Uh, chess pie. Okay. What has been your favorite age so far? I'm pretty good in my 60s, so 63 is good. Okay. Do you learn by watching or doing? Doing. Are you more extroverted or introverted? Way introverted. And what is the best workout routine that there is? Uh, At my age, where all my joints don't work anymore, just the elliptical. (laughs) What was your last impulse buy? Oh, probably a tool. I don't know which one at Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay. All right. So now on to the work stuff. So you started working at Laverne last year. How are things going? How's it been in the engineering department? Everything. It's a, it's a great group of people over there. It's engineering and stormwater. And we uh, are also in the building with planning, uh, Bo Logan and codes, uh, Joe White and Everybody there gets along real well. We have a good time. It's a little bit stressful. Uh, We have a lot of work to do, but it also makes the days go by really quick. So uh, so it's it's been great. Good crew. What's been one of your favorite projects in the last year? Uh, Probably the new public works building because it is, I came out of contracting. I was in the private sector before I came here. And uh, so it is something I'm very, building buildings is my background. So it's something I'm very comfortable with. So uh, that's been my, my, the funnest project to me, personally. Just to step right into it, too, because right. we started working on that project really last year. It got awarded uh, in the summer, yes. Mm-hmm. What exactly does the city engineer do for the city? What does your day-to-day look like? Uh, it does a couple of things. The, well, actually three. One of them is uh, works with Bo Logan, at city planner, uh, supporting the planning commission. Uh, more of my time is taking up overseeing major city construction projects. So we have got uh, the Public Works building physically under construction right now. We've got Blair Road Extension, which is in right-of-way acquisition, where people are getting contacted and asked about you know, us purchasing right-of-way and purchasing easement. And then we've got the real big one, South Waldron Road, which is about to go into right-of-way acquisition. Uh, to help improve and make all of South Waldron Road much safer. That one's going to be a multi-year, very large project. The other thing is uh, the stormwater department is under engineering, and so there's a small construction crew who goes out and uh, works getting uh, ditches cleaned out, culverts cleaned out. They're out there today. Right now we've got an area where water is uh, flooding a home, and they're digging a new ditch and correcting some ditches to, to make sure that, not flooding the home, but flowing up against it mm-hmm. and uh, making sure that homeowner is nice and high and dry. And so we coordinate with them. If it's a planning commission week, then there's a lot of plans review of the subdivision. Any plans of, that developers are going to build in town, I review those. And then, again, working on the uh, contract oversight on the public works building. How does the engineering department benefit the citizens? Uh, What it does is one of our big jobs in engineering is to make sure, because a lot of our infrastructure is built by private developers. They build a lot of our subdivision, all of our subdivision roads, a lot of water, a lot of sewer. So we try, we have inspectors on my team who go out and they are watching the key times when uh, asphalt is going down or when water lines are put in or sewer lines are put in to make sure that you can buy a house in Laverne and you know that five years from now you're not going to have a messed up road out in front of the house. Your your toilet's going to flush, your water's going to turn on, and most importantly you're going to have fire protection. And so we've got some issues right now with a couple of older subdivisions where we're having to, to work very closely with the developers, and they're not always happy about it, but uh, to make sure before the city accepts their roads that they are going to be roads that last 20 years. That's a big deal for the citizens, too. I I think so. And it's it's nice to be able to, to buy a house in a city and know that 
all the things you can't control, somebody's been watching over those as close as they possibly can to make sure that they're not going to become a headache for you down the, down the road. And that hopefully if it is a headache, it's something that the city can easily Correct. step in and repair. And we work closely with the public works department when that comes up because they have their own crews and most things they get out, those guys are amazing. They get out and fix things within 24 hours. Usually. We do have an amazing public works. We do crew. indeed. Yes. Other than the public works facility, is there a project coming up that you're super excited about? Uh, South Waldron Road. South Waldron. That is, I mean, right now we're uh, doing some small things on it because there are some tough drop-offs and stuff, and we're just trying to make that road as safe as we possibly can for the citizens because it's developing and a lot more traffic's going to be getting on it. But it's going to be widened out to a nice, wide three-lane section with nice wide shoulders and going to be a lot easier to uh, to drive on. And uh, it's going to take a long time, several years, and it's going to be done in stages, three separate phases. But uh, that's going to be that's going to be probably the project that takes me to retirement because okay. it's going to take several years to get it done. And for those who aren't as familiar with that side of the interstate, you're talking about near the fire station, near the Thorntons, and then continuing Past, out on into down the, all the way down to the school. Yep. It's Stone Rock River. Springs. Right, and, Rock Springs. Okay. All right. Well, tell me more about yourself. Where are you from? What brought you here? Uh, Rich, I was born in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, and but I moved here in 1982 after I graduated college. Uh, met my wife here, raised my family here. Uh, last 20 years, I have worked overseas primarily, so we always had our house here, and my wife was frequently here when I was in working in places where she couldn't come. But uh, so spent a lot of time the last 20 years away, but Nashville's always been home. And what made you want to work here? I was retiring out of the, the private sector and uh, talking about it. And I was in the I announced my retirement was in the last few weeks of it. And one of those things popped up on my email. Just said, you know, opening city of Laverne, just a generic thing. And, I, you know, a city engineer might be fun. And, you know, having not worked in Nashville for 20 years, I, I didn't think I would have much chance at the job, but I thought that'd be a fun thing. Let's, I'll at least send it in, see what kind of response I get. And I was invited to uh, an interview with the city administrator, assistant city administrator, and the director of human resources, and just hit it off. The three great people and really enjoyed, had a great interview. And it, they did indeed uh, offer me the job, and I had a long, soul-searching discussion with my wife about, yeah, honey, I know I said I was going to retire, but this could be fun, and I'll be home every night. And she, she, she thought about it and, and allowed me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, so here I am. Well, we appreciate her because we love having you here. What's something that's fun or interesting about yourself that, people won't necessarily know or that your coworkers may know, but... Yeah, you, I mean, you get the engineer part. That mm -hmm. doesn't make a lot of fun and interesting stuff. <laughs> but uh, I guess I, I write as a hobby. Just I'm not terribly good at it, but I upload it on the Internet and let people read it. So that's, that's about the, that's the, the oddest thing about me. Do you like reading? I do. I love reading. I read, read constantly. I... I have a 45-minute commute each way, so I do audible okay. audiobooks now a lot. And I know I've seen you at Howl at the Moon, mm -hmm. which is our 5K run every year. Yeah. And Bit of a health nut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this may be the same thing, but hobbies, sports, do you enjoy watching sports, playing sports? I live, eat, like and that? breathe college football. Okay. NFL which, which is good, team? too. Northwestern Wildcats. Okay. That's where I went to school. So I'm one of the few Big Ten fans around here. And where's... Where's that school at? It's just north of Chicago. Okay. Tell me about your family. I have a wife and two adult children. Uh, my wife and I uh, will be married 37 years this year. And uh, she is, is awesome. She's put up, as you can tell, me working overseas and, and being away from her for long periods of time. She has been a very patient and put up with lots of things. And I appreciate her greatly every day. Uh, one of my sons is... 31, about to turn 32, and the others about to turn the big 3-0. And they're, they have uh, good careers going, and I'm very proud of them. And uh, so I've, I've had, a, had, a, had a blessed life. That's awesome. Well, is there anything about yourself, anything else that you want to share? 
The only thing is, is I've only been here a year, but uh, I, I really enjoy the city of Laverne, and I really like being a part of a group of people who you can tell, okay, honestly, I came out of the private sector, and I had a mental image of what city, city employees were like, and it was about as wrong as wrong could be. I am with people who deeply care about their jobs, deeply care about doing a good job, deeply care about serving their community, and they're some of the hardest working people I've ever worked with. And uh, I just really enjoy being a part of this team. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Gary, here on the podcast. This has been Local Matters. Until next time, I'm Ann Smith. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.